right, so petroleum, pretty much a lot of similarities to what we've covered. This has a lot, a lot of differences, starting with, um, well, some similarities, but starting like, like what it is, these are our similarities up to now. What is it in comparison to fossil fuels? So coal, natural gas is non-renewable, just like fossil fuels. How do we get it? What is this picture showing you? Or strip mining, which is a form of what? Surface mining, open pit or quarrying, all those types of methods help us get um, um, nuclear fuel, which is what? How do we mine nuclear fuel? What are we mining for? What ore? Uranium. And let's just put this, uranium, whoops. I meant to do that. Okay. I'm not going to uncover the other one. And then where do we find it? What is this right here? Crust and some of the upper mantle has uranium. It's actually mostly found in the crust because the mining isn't even that deep. But what I can tell you is that almost all rocks have some form of uranium decay in them. Okay. And we're mining for that. So you're going to find a lot. There's, there's trillion tons of uranium on earth. It is non-renewable, so when we use it, it's going to run out, but there is a lot of it. More so is what it can do in, in little quantities. Who has it? Uh, Russia. I know we always think of Russia, and honestly, I want you to draw a line right here and, and put an arrow and put Russia actually developed the first plant. Okay? But who has more of it? is actually Australia and um, Canada and Russia are actually like side by side. So some websites will tell you Canada has more and some will tell you Russia. And for a long time, it was Russia on the top of the list. Who produces the most? Us. The United States of America is the world's largest producer of nuclear power. What country uses it for most of its energy, though? Anybody know what this map is? France. And I said country. France uses the most uh, of their power. In other words, we produce the most. France, 77% of all the power generated in France comes from nuclear power. So they use a lot of nuclear power to supply their energy needs. How is it used? No. Are you kidding me? We'd all be glowing right now. Yeah, <laughs> it would be pretty bad. Energy production. So because it produces energy, it can heat and cool your home, but it can't be directly used in your home. What so far out of all the fossil fuels or non-renewable sources of energy can be used directly in your home? Natural gas. That's it. Yes? Okay. What else do we make from nuclear? Energy. Nuclear what? Medicine, yeah, it's used for um, like uh, like it, tracers. it could, tracers, like finding problems. So they'll they'll add that to your system to then monitor what's going on, um, and you'll be in isolation because in a sense you're you're contaminated somewhat. What else? Look at this picture. What are we doing? There is there's heat involved. Good. We're desalination because nuclear can produce such high heat. They use the heat to boil the water and evaporate the salts. So, you know, we have a critical water shortage. So that's a good method to combine. I don't know if I'd want to drink water that was uh, desalinized by nuclear power. But what else? The scary one. Weapons and missiles. Yes. So even though 30 countries are using... Um, nuclear power, they actually uh, stopped production for a really long time. So this quote of 60 through, 63 new nuclear power plants being built was not a quote in my notes for years. It wasn't until about three or four years ago that nuclear power plant production started again. Anybody know why we stopped building? Correct. Before Japan. So yeah, obviously... 
an accident of high, high uh, consequence led to rethinking, are we really doing a good job by using nuclear power? So really we question, why would we start using nuclear power? Why did we say, let's use this super unstable form of, of energy and, and create electricity for homes? So what's the answer? What were we using up to now? Natural gas and coal. So what are the problems with them that would lead you to think, I need to change or find something else? It, so the efficiency, yes. So nuclear has a super high heat capacity. What else? Less emissions. We know that the fossil fuel burning leads to emissions of, of a lot of uh, primary pollutants and leads to global warming and acid deposition so, and smog. So we have a big problem on our hands. But the biggest problem is what? That it's what? Nope. What about time? What is the biggest reason we look for other ways to produce electricity? Because we're going to run out of them. I mean, I know coal, we said we have a lot, but at the end of the day, it's a non-renewable resource and it's going to run out. So we have to think of other ways to produce electricity to extend the lifetime of what we have. How much I searched the internet for this, it doesn't show up. Now, when I used to give notes a long, long time ago, this statement here, and you guys said it, that nuclear power is more efficient, okay? It's not. It used to be the most efficient form of, of energy because of this. If you look at one pellet of uranium, it's equivalent to a ton of coal or a, a three barrels of oil or a cord of wood. So it's one little thing does all that that can do. So you think, wow, this is the most efficient form of energy. Anybody know how I went from nuclear is the most efficient? And I can show you textbooks where that is the word to now it's the least efficient. To build what? Your price is definitely, so efficiency doesn't involve money. But in order to build, you need money, but your building requires what? Containment storages require energy to build, require time, require energy to maintain. So the amount of energy you're using to deal with what? The waste is so excessive that now it's the least form of energy or efficient form of energy, which is crazy. So that one pellet could do so much, but there's so much waste involved that it lost all its efficiency. So I'll touch more on that tomorrow. All right, the last thing I'm going to cover is fission. So this is not in your notes. I'm going to pause. So how does uranium produce energy for uh, electricity production? The process is called nuclear fission. Does anybody know what happens during fission? Atoms split, good. So you're going to split atoms, and then you're going to produce what? What are we looking for? What do you think we're looking for? To make electricity. Where do we have to go first? How do we make electricity from coal? We produce heat, so we want to make heat. We want to make massive amounts of energy. We know that nuclear energy is nuclear energy, so we're going to convert it to heat energy. So what happens first is a neutron hits a uranium-235. Where did the neutron come from? We just threw it in there. Hey, let's see what would happen if I throw... I should not record that. Yes. And then you're going to look at this and tell me what's happening. Without reading, look at the diagram. What happens? They split, and they call them daughter U-235s, and what else happens? Heat is released, and what else? There's two or three more neutrons being produced. So you've got a U-235 gets hit by a neutron. It splits into two daughter U-235. It's still U-235. More neutrons are made, and a lot of heat energy is produced. What do you think is going to happen next? What do I have? If I'm going to the next step, what do I have? Look at the picture.
What do I have right now? I have heat. What am I going to use the heat for? I'm going to add water, steam, spins a turbine, generator. What else do I have? I have U-235s. And what else do I have? Neutrons. So what do you think is going to happen? It's going to happen again. 